to shy shy hush hush eye to eye. <laughs> They're playing in the store. I'm gonna be singing that all day. <sighs> okay, so I got some shirts. I got some shirts. Uh, I'm making some handmade shirts. I didn't get all of them. I got. I got. I don't know. I got. I found uh, extra larges so we can make some extra large shirts. Uh, the two XLs were uh, in short supply. I didn't see any good ones. That you know the kind that I like, and the uh, XLs. Yeah, they were really picked out of XLs. So we'll have to come back later for some of that. But at least we got started on them. I can make two or three of the shirts. So I'm just gonna make a shirt a day, and. Uh, yeah, so we got six orders, so stay tuned. They'll be coming soon. Um, okay, the Boyt, the bottom of YouTube, okay? Well, I started my channel five years ago, and I kind of, I'm not going to brag, but I was kind of uh, mentioned as being, you know, the leader of the Boyt, or at least somebody who was a kingpin, like a kingpin in the Boyt. I, I got that way because my channel uh, was a place where everybody would come and comment, okay? And I wasn't so much me, it was just, the, I was a place, I was like the well where everybody came and shared shared themselves. <laughs> they peed in it. They peed in it, they drank it, they did whatever they did in it, you know, but it was my comments, you know? And I, I really believe that in many respects. My channel's not so great. You know, I you know, but it's the comments. It's a free. You know, people realize that uh, Dave's channel has always been a place where people can freely comment. Okay, you can come, you can talk. You know, I, I give everybody a large amount of freedom. I'm not sitting there monitoring every comment and only you know, you know. Okay, I do. I do scrub some comments because some people are way over the top nasty. But for the most part, you know. Um, it's my comments. So I started, and I did. I didn't. I started a nomadic channel. When I started, I was covering you know who, uh, nomadic fanatic, and uh, into the mystery thirteen jet, and oh, there were a whole bunch of uh, different nomads and explorers. I was covering Adam. The, I've always been covering Adam the Woo. A whole bunch of people that I've been covering all these years. I covered some hiking channels like Syntex 77. And it was just channels I like to cover. But it was a lot of nomads. I've always been covering the nomads. People say, oh, Dave, you switched to a nomad channel and then I stopped liking you. I've always been covering the nomads, okay? But what happened was, for some reason, my, my comments became kind of notorious. And so all these people were coming over to my comments. And then they were doing their feuds with each other, okay? Jacob the Carpetbagger, I've always been covering him. He was kind of a colorful character, and, and it, he inter integrated or interacted with all the the, the uh, people, and you know, and then boom, da boom, whatever you want to say. In 2017, everything just came to a head. Okay, we had these what is called the bottom of YouTube. Now there are a lot of bottoms of YouTube. If you look around YouTube, there are a lot of you know YouTubes, <laughs> YouTube groups that are kind of you know. You know, where they, everybody gets together and just yells and screams and, and strikes each other and all that. That happens. I mean, strike in terms of YouTube strike. You know, they're not actually hitting each other with poles or anything. Although maybe they do that on the sideline. But anyway, so, um, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of them. But our particular Boyt, yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to name some names here and I know I'll leave people out. But, you know, Cat Strollers and Patreon, Rolling Trees, Stingray. Uh, who else? That's about it. No, <laughs> the Swedes, Aaron, Red Cow, uh, Kentucky Ranger, uh, Mark Van Jones, uh, Anthony Sullivan, and you know, many, very much the Carpetbagger was involved in this. Princess Boobles, Princess Boobles. We share the same David name, <laughs> Princess David. <laughs> Didn't Reagan call Princess Diana Princess David once? I would like to welcome Princess David to the country. I mean, Diana. Princess David. Uh, who else was there? I don't know. Uh, the lot, And then a lot of people joined later. We had the Lion. We had Demonic. We had Lonnie. He shall remember. Lonnie. Lonnie! We had, uh, oh, who else? The Germ was there. Uh, uh, Molly. Molly, uh, a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people. Uh, I know I'm leaving a lot of names out, and of course the Doxy was part of it. 
And you know, it's just it was a it was a fun group. Most of it was just fun. Like Lou, okay, Lou, we can't forget Mr. Lou who's Ron, who is uh, Howie Feldman. You know, anyway. So yeah, you know, uh, they, some of them changed their names and you know various things and all that. Uh, <laughs> And it was a whole group of people, Wally and Tony. Who else was on there? I don't know. People kept changing their names and coming back as different people. And, you know, and anyway, everybody, you know, so so what happened basically was in the middle of 2017, I was stuck in the middle, okay? Remember that, it was a Jerry Rafferty song, Stuck in the Middle with You. I had the trolls on one side, a lot of the boy, and on the other side were a lot of the Nomads channels. And I'm trying to, like, the, no, you know, and they're all hitting me. The Nomad channels wanted me to get rid of a lot of the troll channels, the troll people. So they were, hey, you got to cut your comments back. You've got to be tougher with the comments. Do, you know, baba da boo ba da bee. Oh, there's the van. It's still there. Three thirty nine ninety nine. It's over there on the other side of the road today. So they didn't sell it. It was my other video. Yeah, so on one side I had the nomadic type people that did not like the trolley type people, and they didn't like the trolley type people. The trolley type people were really going after the nomads and explorers. So, and I was in the middle. So the trolley type people wanted freedom to say what they wanted to. They didn't want Dave to be a censor, and the, the nomadic people and the explorer people wanted me to be, you know, my comments are way over the top nasty, and I've got to censor them more and be, you know, and I'm getting it from both sides. Nobody liked Dave. That was 2017. Everybody hated Dave. Everybody hated Dave. So, you know, I'm getting it from both sides. And and my channel pretty much almost got shut down. And then I went and created the Camo Day channel. I was doing it on the Dave TV channel, which is now my Dave Hughes channel. And, uh, you know, I was getting, everybody was attacking me and people were hitting my channel and everything else. And, you know, so I thought I better start a second channel just in case. And then I, uh, later in 2017, I moved everything over, all the, uh, you know, the nomadic stuff to the Camo Dave channel. And then I kind of thought, you know what, uh, I, you know, most of the people, the vast majority of people are watching my channel for my nomad reviews. That's, you know, that's the 92% or whatever. And the, and the, the Boyt, the Boyt trolls and stuff like that, they, they were all attacking themselves. Some of them are getting off YouTube and, you know, and they couldn't go anywhere else. You know, I mean, really, they, they were, they were being nasty characters all over YouTube and they were getting blocked and banned from all these other channels. And eventually Dave had to do the same thing. Dave was forced to clean house. I like talking about myself in the third person. Poor Dave. <laughs> It just, it got to be like, oh my gosh, you know, I, you know, everybody was just attacking and going after it. It was, it started out as a fun little goofy thing and it was cute. And then it got really mean and people were really getting mean. They were doxing each other. They, you know, they were putting up private information. They were publishing people's court histories and, and criminal histories. And they were calling their workplaces and trying to get them fired. I mean, it was getting really nasty. And I just had to say enough. I just had to say enough to that. And I basically focused on covering the nomads. And that's been an interesting thing because there's a lot of trollish type people among the nomad community too. And we, we have that going even today. But the original boy, pretty much, you know, there's a few spinoff channels like Life with Aaron and Roland Orza Balls and stuff that, uh, you know, continued to cover to some degree the bottom of YouTube. But, I mean, you know, our bottom of YouTube. But it was just a very small little wing there. And, you know, a few, you know, you always get a few dozen people to watch your videos and that's it. I've grown my channel. You know, my sub count kind of goes up and stops and goes up and stops. Uh, but, my, you know, I've done very well the last couple of years. You know, I've, I've done okay with the channel. Uh, you know, I, again, I, well, I'm not the biggest channel in the world, but I think I'm quite influential. You know, when it comes to the nomads, you know, I, I, I do think a lot of people pay attention to what I say. It's obvious they do. And I try to be a good person and a nice person, but you know, I do, I, I, the, the thing that I'm caught with is, is I really want freedom. Okay. I am a freedom fighter and I really think that, you know, we need to have more freedom in terms of the comments and stuff like that. People want, oh no, 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 we need to censor the comments. We need to, 
I, you know, I, I, you know, and a, and a lot of times too, it's sarcasm. I mean, I like sarcasm. I think it's funny, but a lot of people see it as mean. And it is true. There's a lot of comments that are kind of right on that gray area border. Is this sarcastic, funny, or is this mean, hateful? And we can debate it. We can debate it all day and night and whatever. So anyway, so anyway, that's it. Basically, uh, it was kind of fun to see Ron there with Alani the other night, the other day, chatting about all that. We saw some of the cast of characters there. Uh, I don't know. Remember Buck Rogers? We had Roland and Orzabal's LLC. I mean, all those channels. Uh, some of them are still around. Some of them post very, very rarely. But the bottom of YouTube, Boyd. Yeah, yeah. The Boyd does live. The Boyd does, you know, we say, oh, the Boyd's dead. No, our little Boyd is still alive. There's enough people around that still want to, you know, kind of, oh, remember the good old days of 2017? <laughs> what a fun time we had. <laughs> <laughs> but once you start getting that boy fueled up, it just gets mean and mean. And it's the same thing <clears throat> with the nomads. Once you get the trolls start to, there are these people that, and one thing that I've always gotten really interested in about YouTube is how angry people get. You know, they're sitting there at their computers talking about basic nonsense. I mean, as, as Blind Screw says, Blind Screw is very true. YouTube is not real. It really isn't. It, you know, the versions of people we're seeing, even if they t pretend to be themselves on YouTube, they're not really real, you know? They're protect they're giving us a certain character. Anyway. So, uh, you know, it just is like that. People just, you know, they do not like a certain nomad and they just every day, I hate this nobody, I hate this nobody, I hate this nobody. I get the same thing. I hate your channel, I hate your channel, I hate your channel. Every day, they have to post. And Ron did that. Ron, you know, every day, tell me how much he hated my channel. Every day, I hate your channel, I hate you. And eventually, I said, Ron, I'm going to do you a favor, I'm going to block you. And Ron's a nice guy, okay? Uh, you know, we both lived up in the Northern Virginia area for many years, and we, you know, he was going to, we were going to get together and do some touristy things, and I think he thought better of that, but... Uh, I like Ron, Ron Slante, that's supposed to be some sort of Irish drinking slogan. Slante, Shlan whatever, however you say it. Slunchy, Slunchy, Ron Slunchy. Anyway, so anyway, oh, oh, Beauregard Rippy, I have to mention him too. He's one of the uh, great, I know what, I said that if I'm going to start naming all the uh, bottom of YouTube people, I definitely am going to be leaving people out. Uh... <laughs> Count Yorga. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but, but Rippy is up there. Rippy is definitely up there. Uh, I'm Michael Nipper. I mean, I you know, Mr. Nippy there in Ohio. He was, uh, you know, he was in on a lot of the fun back in the day. Uh, I do talk to him on a regular basis. He's a very nice guy, by the way. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think of who else was in the group. Uh, yeah, anyway, whatever. And then you had all these sideline channels like Glenda Sully and Denver Joy and uh, stuff like that. Remember Brenda? Brenda Talks. She was kind of in on a lot of the crazy stuff. I, I think she passed away. I'm not sure. I haven't heard from her in years. There's a lot of people that have come and gone from the bottom of YouTube. But uh, <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. I know, I'm, I know I'm probably leaving somebody very important out of this list. Oh, you didn't mention so-and-so. <clears throat> no, no, no. But anyway. That was the Boyt. Uh, but anyway, we still I still dive into the stuff every now and then, and uh, we have some fun with it. But, uh, you know, what the heck. All right, folks, so that ought to do it. Uh, yeah, what else is there to say? Ah, the memories. Isn't it fun? You all have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. It is the, uh, I got some t-shirts. I uh, got a couple XLs, and I'm going to make a couple shirts today and uh, mail those out, and we'll see how it goes. I don't know. This is, oh, I did, I, I made an offer over the weekend at my, all my chats to uh, sell some t-shirts, make some homemade t-shirts. I got six orders, and I'm going to just leave it at that right now, and we'll see how they go, uh, and, uh, Mail them out in the next week or two. And, you know, I'm making them, by the way. So we'll see. Homemade t-shirts. You know, another thing I want to talk about really, really quickly is uh, paywalls. I, you know, YouTube has this, <clears throat> has this thing called memberships where you can join it and you get free benefits. You get benefits if you cough up five or ten bucks a month. And I've seriously thought about doing that, but I thought, I don't, I, I honestly, my, my rule is I will not put anything behind a paywall. Okay. That's not all my material. All my chats will be completely open to everybody. I mean, you, some people will get blocked because you're nasty, but you're not going to have to pay to see the chats. I'm never going to do that. I don't want to do that. You know, if you want to help support my channel, 
on PayPal, or on Super Chat, or pop, pop some cash in the mail to me. All my addresses are links are below, and you're more than welcome to do that whenever you like. I'm not gonna, you know, uh, you know, hey, you know, you've been very, most of you people have been very kind to my, me and supported me over the years, but I do not want to get into the business of putting stuff that you have to pay to watch. Okay, you can't see this video unless you join my Patreon, or you can't join this chat unless you know members. I see these people with members only chats, and it just makes me mad. You know, you'll see Inspirational Nomad doing a members only chat and there are a hundred people watching and only four people chatting because they're the ones who paid. I don't like that. I just, I was like, oh, no. You can watch the chat, but you can't participate unless you cough up some money. I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I don't like doing that. Uh, you know, I have nothing against somebody wanting to help support any particular YouTuber that you think is worth supporting, but I do get into a, a sticky wicket. Uh, with people wanting to get paid, uh, put stuff behind paywalls, you know. All my stuff is going to be free. You know, go to Cocoscope. You can watch Crotchy. You can watch me. You can always be in my chats, you know, unless you're a bad boy and say nasty things and you'll get uh, blocked by the mods or whatever. But, you know, you know, but you know, it's not going to be a pay kind of thing. You know, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you can only be in my chats if you pay. Yeah, yeah. Ain't, gonna, ain't going there, baby. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a crazy one. Yeah, if you only wanted to watch the beginning, that's fine. <laughs> so I'm just going on and on. You have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. It's going to be a nice, another nice day. We're having a spate of beautiful weather here in beautiful Morganton, North Carolina. You have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Blog under.